Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about how we can make use of Cloud Code to create sub agents just for testing purpose. I'm not going to create the sub agents for front end or back end or for UI UX, like how we did in our other video in our Excel Automation YouTube channel that I already talked about. If you have really not watched the video, I highly recommend you to go ahead and watch there because we discussed how we can create and complete workflow of agents from complete ground up and even create a website using cloud code sub agents feature in that particular video but in this particular video we're just going to focus on testing so i'm going to experiment this like how the cloud code coding agent can really create the testing more amazing i just wanted to see how that actually works and i haven't even tried it even before to be honest i wanted to try it with you guys this time to see how that actually works so there is no false information or whatsoever so whatever is going to be generated is going to be generated in this particular video and i have zero knowledge on how this is going to work so i have already cloned this particular repository the employee app over here and this particular employee app has got a front end and has got a back end that's all right and this is basically the front end is going to be uh, basically a react application and the back end is going to be just going to hold some sqlite database which is going to hold the data for the ui right the login uh, use information the user information and stuff. And this particular application, the moment I execute this particular application, it is gonna look something like this. And if you're just gonna log off, it's gonna look something like this. But you can also change the color and then you can use the username as this and password as password. And if you log in, it is just gonna work like this one, right? And you can do an edit operation. You can do a delete operation if you wanted to. Uh, and you can also view it if you wanted to. So you can do all sort of things. You can add an employee if you want, right? So I wanted to see if all these can be tested using my agents which i'm going to be building using the cloud codes sub agent feature so what i'm going to do is i have already got this uh, cloud code sub agent license with me so i'm going to go ahead and try that over here so i'm going to go and type cd try out employee app over here i'm going to do a git uh, checkout maybe i can just uh, rely on this one that's fine i'm just going to clear that over here and i'm just going to say uh, cloud code something like this right and in this particular uh, branch i'm just going to write all the code from the complete ground up and also the agents i'm going to create so i'm just going to say slash agents which is going to help me create the agent over here so i'm going to create the new agent pretty much like how we did in our last uh, video which i discussed about how this agent can be created how this agent can be helpful for us to work with all of these operations the same thing which i'm going to do in here as well and i'm going to create the agent for the project scope not on the personal scope which means it's going to be just specific for this particular project so i'm going to go and generate it and i'm going to say you are an expert agent who can write best uh, ui tests uh, using playwright and you only focus on ui test and nothing else you know how to write pom code and also write the best possible architecture while designing like a framework for tests something like that right so this is what i'm going to give to this particular agent to have all of these information and i will let the uh, cloud code to go and create the uh, the the prompts for me right now see that's what it is currently doing it's going to generate the prompt for me for this particular uh, agent so i'm just going to wait there we go it has created over here so i'm going to give all the access except the mcp tool because that is going to be my player at mcp tool so i'm not going to give that particular access uh, to this particular agent i'm going to hit continue and i'm going to give this particular color to this and i'm going to hit enter so that's going to create the agent for me so if i just going to go to the visual studio code you should see that there is a playwright ui test architect and has written a big description over here and you can also see that it has got these information so it's a it has got the the competencies of page object model ex excellency framework architecture best practice implementation code quality standard uh, when creating the test you will do all of these operations you will always do these you will never do non ui functionality like api database etc over here which is great because i'm going to create a new agent for doing those operations so i'm going to create an agent over here in this particular project and i'm going to say you are an 
expert DB or backend uh, test engineer. You know how to test the DB in and out with queries, different combination like a DBA to verify the DB and write the best possible test cases using any popular toolings or something like that, right? This is what I'm really going to give. This guy is just going to focus on the database side of testing, like a backend testing right now. And I will just let the cloud to go ahead and create the, uh, the prompt for me for this particular agent. There we go. I'm going to remove the MCP tool. I'm just going to let this guy continue. Sonnet. And this is the database test engineer. And boom, we also have a database test engineer with a big gigantic description as you can see over here. This is a strategy, it's a query performance testing, test case development uh, using the frameworks as they have given over here. And this is the tooling support. Uh, and this is the quality assurance approach. This is the output format of the result that it's gonna give us. And there we go. Now, I'm going to use these two agents to perform this operation. So what I'm going to say is, now with the cloud agent, I'm going to say, can you do the front end and back end tests for me and verify how the application works by writing exclusive tests? And I'm going to hit enter. Now, I'm going to let the cloud code to do all these operations. And because I have done this, so it's gonna say that, okay, I'm gonna create a comprehensive front-end test using Playwright, and I'm gonna create a comprehensive backhead API test. So now it is gonna read the application. So first of all, it's trying to understand how the application is. So it's gonna do that over here. And then it's also gonna create an integration test for the front-end and back-end interaction. So this is a level further, it has went to understand that. So let's see what's going to happen. So for the front end test, I would expect that it's going to invoke the Playwright UI test architect. Ah, there we go. It has invoked that. So it's going to create the front end Playwright test for me using the Playwright UI test architect. So this is the agent that we have or the sub agent that we have, which is going to do those uh, tests for me. So I'm just going to wait for the test to be generated. There we go. As you can see, it has put a big gigantic to-do list to do the configuration, base class for the common functionality, page object model for the employee list, login, employee form, menu bar. It's also gonna write the test for the data and authentication setup, uh, invalid login operation, and all those things. I'm just gonna say yes, always go and modify it's your terminal. Go ahead. I'm just gonna give all the superpower to the agent to go and modify because I'm not gonna do the babysitting work of clicking the S, it feels so painful to be honest. I'll say yes. All right, you can see that it has finally took around 11 minutes to complete the UI testing operation. So the Playwright UI test architect has finally completed after 11 minutes of execution. And now it's gonna do the backend testing and see that it's gonna invoke the database test engineer agent. So it is gonna invoke this guy right now, the database test engineering agent. And now it is gonna go and start doing the test for the backend operation. So you basically see that the Playwright test agent is for the UI operation. It has clearly did the separations of, of concern probably uh, for the UI test as well as for the database test. And the way that it has written right now the test is look at that. It has created like a framework structure for the uh, Playwright. It has got the, the fixtures over here, which is fabulous to be honest. It has got all of the things that is required. It also has got some test data in a separate uh, JS file, which is going to be used for injecting the data. It also got the page object model code. See that the, the framework structure that it has created is, is mind blowing, to be honest. Like it has got all the information that is required uh, and it's all just covered up. And look at the quality of test that it has written. It is pretty amazing. So all of these written the page object model code uh, over here for the employee form page, for the employee list page, which is over here. We have got for the login page 
and then menu bar page, look at that, how many lines of code that's written over there. And then there is this utility with the test helper, which is also fabulous. And then it is writing the tests here. So this is the auth.spec.js file. So it's going to call the page object model code that we have written, which is over there. And then it's going to invoking those tests over here. See the number of tests that it has written. It's just mind blowing to be honest. And see the same thing goes for the employee management and then error handling spec.js, which is fabulous. And now it is doing the database test and I'm gonna just wait and see what's really gonna happen. But you can also see that they have got a readme.md file as well, like how it has written the test over here. So these are the tests that it has covered. Authentication test, employee management, UI feature test, uh, error handling, and whatnot. So it has got almost every single details, including the assertion, code review, support, test coverage. Oh my God. This architect, to be honest, this guy, the Playwright UI test architect is fabulous. It's doing really an amazing job in, in order to make this happen. So I'm just going to, I'm just curious to see what database test this is going to write and, and how it is going to implement all of these uh, tests for us. So I'm just going to wait until this, this is going to be complete as well uh, for us over here. So I think it's going to write the tests here. So let's just wait for the tests to be added. See that it has already did the integration, performance, uh, unit test, and utilities. So it's going to write the test for us over there. So let's just finger across and just wait how this execution is going to happen. I'm just going to wait for that. All right, you can see that finally the database testing is also over from our database test engineer who has written that. And if I'm gonna go and see the tests, you might have seen like how the test is being generated. You got that. It has got the database test for the integration test over here, like how it is gonna do the test uh, with the, uh, the testdb.execute query. And it's gonna go and get the information for the employee. And it's going to do an insertion operation just to verify how things are working. Look at the number of tests it has written, guys. It's so good. Like, I'm to be honest, it's just going to be amazing. I also wanted to see how this test is actually executing. And I see that there is a workflow test over here. It has created a complete workflow. So it's going to start the empty system uh, with, uh, with get all method over here. So the get all method is something that it has written for us over here with the request app dot get of the employee and then it is going to expect the initial list of the body to have this length of zero then it's going to create an employee and then it's going to create the uh, it's going to check if the particular body has got any value there similarly it's going to do the same thing for the employee list the updated employees oh my god this to be honest it's amazing I'm just gonna get this to execute and yeah, look at that number of tests that has written is it's just fabulous. It's really a lot of tests that it has written over here. It's also done the performance test, gonna do a load uh, test over here. So it's gonna inject the data and see the number of tests it has written. I'm really not going through any of these tests at the moment, but I just believe that the number of tests it has written over there is, is quite honest to be it's promising. Uh, and it, there is also a, so right now it's gonna do a coverage uh, run for us over here see npm run test coverage so it's going to just run the coverage test and this is what exactly i wanted to see because playwright test is just going to work fine i mean I, I believe on that but you see the the way that it is generating the coverage uh for uh for us which is also something that i really wanted to see and see that there is also the unit test for the auth uh, for the employee for the error handling so it's pretty much like how the it did for the front end. The same thing is going to do for the back end as well, uh, and it has got all of these uh, information. I'm just going to wait for that. Look at that. It's now running this uh, this test employee test over here. Ah, there we go. Yes, I think it's completed the execution. Uh, it has found there is some failures as well, uh, so it's now trying to update the test based on the failures, and I think it's then going to run the test for us again. Yeah, it's trying to run this again. Ah, look at that, that is a test passing for the auth test.js file, which is, uh, which is great. So it's basically using the gist test to, to run all these tests because that's what it has written over here. 
There we go. You can see that it has finally completed writing all the tests, I think, at the moment, because now it has also debugged itself to see whether the tests are executing or not. And now it's running the employee management API test runner. And then it is also updating the readme files and everything. Uh, and it is finally running the test, I guess. We'll just wait and see what's really going to happen there. That took 20 minutes, uh, which is just to be honest, a lot. Uh, and now it's going to do a creation of the integration test for the front and the back end interaction. Uh, but we don't really have an engineer, like an agent to do that. So I think it is just going to use the, the Claude's own way of doing this thing. So there is no specific agent to do that. But uh, we'll just keep continuing on that one. All right. Now, finally, it has completed every single operation. And it was asking me to run all the tests and verify if the application is functioning correctly. So I'm just gonna let Claude to do all of these for me and we'll see how that works. But we have already seen like how the tests are being generated. So I expect the tests are looking good. But before it starts running the test, it's also trying to see if uh, it can run the front end uh, first and then the back end of the application, which is what it is currently doing. And so, which is also intelligent. So now it says that great, the servers are running. The front end is on port number this one uh, instead of port number 173. So because it in test, it has found that it written as, one, as 5173, unfortunately, but the port number is 5174. So it's going, going and modifying the test before even it runs the test for us over there. Uh, so it's just doing all of these for me right now. Uh, so it's jiggery pokering, it's great. And let's wait for the execution to happen this time. Yeah, so it's there is one pass test on the unit auth.ts file, but there is a uh, there is a failure for some reason in one of the tests. Uh, so it's saying that um, do you want to go and run that? I'm gonna just just say yes for now. I'm just gonna agree everything. I uh, just wanted to let this code to execute right now, and we'll see what's gonna happen. And yeah, there we go. So it's going to update that for me. Oh, it's going to update again on the front end side of the player configuration. So the first thing that it was executing was, I think it was the back end test. But right now it is going to do the front end, uh, front end test for me there. And now it's running all of these tests as well. So that's it, guys. You might have seen like how this is already amazingly working, right? It's creating a lot of tests for both back end and front end. It's all happening with the power of the cloud sub agents. And they are doing all of these operations for us, which is amazing. So the total test, it the total time it takes for me to write all these entire application tests is around 40 minutes of the time of recording. But in reality, if we do the same thing, it would have taken us a couple of days on or maybe a week to complete this entire test. But here it's just taking me like 40 minutes to complete everything, which is scary, right? So that's about the cloud code sub agents guys and i think this is pretty good while we create the agents exclusively for testing purpose like ui testing and database testing just let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what do you think about these kind of testing and these kind of tools coming up i know this is not a lot of coverage we still have to go and see whether the test is covering everything but at least this is giving you a very good scaffold of code that we need while we try to run these tests once again Thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.